Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Romania Lover, but we gotta talk about moderates and how they've become disgraced. The government Iron Guard Alliance has successfully won the support of the majority. Due to our recent achievements, the Moderate League has been firmly disgraced, with their influence significantly damaged. It took little effort to fully dismantle their factions. Their movement scatters. In which we're still handling our ally down here, but I'm not gonna figure out consolidation of power versus a convenient car crash. Oh. Hmm. Mahai dies. Crush the opposition. Raise the archives. Pragmatic diplomacy. A loyal chamber. Ooh, uphold the status quo. Uh, oh, dealing with the Iron Guard. Our partnership with the Iron Guard is a fragile relationship now with our initial goals achieved. It's time to reconsider our policy towards the Legionnaires. Sideline the Iron Guard. Sideline them. Ooh, boy. March on Bucharest. <coughs> um. Uh, what do we do here? Uh, uh. I had the political backstab. Oh, that's pretty bad. I don't know. We got a lot of national daddy support here. Maybe we get more national daddy support. Ah, oh, we'll see what happens. Oh, 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 whoop. Oh. Who are you? Mr. Seema. Hello, if you want to read about him, please go right ahead. That's us. Oh, we're nice and green. Let's be weird for us to be green. Oh, we got. Oh, we, we lost it. Oh. Handling. Oh, okay. Well then. Formali formalize a national legionary state. Requires guard as victory. A short-lived national legionary state must be revived. Let the people witness the greatness of our legion. Or restructure the kingdom. Well, let's do that first. Then we'll, then we'll talk about it. The decadent system has pre prevented Romania from becoming the greatest nation. We must restructure this broken system in the model government. A government that is meant for Romania's march towards greatness. Cult of Corneliu Zelia Condrenu. Captain Corneliu Zelia Condrenu is a martyr. His death was a national tragedy, and Condrenu's status could rival that of a saint. The Iron Guard must maintain this legacy and ensure that the cult around the great, our great leader would never fade away. Also, uh, Slovenia... Well, I guess Slovenia's here, but... Slovakia has actually had a, like... We went with a Hungarian coup, so now they're popping up hungry. Which sucks. Um, yeah, that really sucks. So, focus on culture, appease the other party... Um, they went with Hungarian-sponsored government, which sucks. Hungarian-Slovak partnership, destroying the resistance. They do realize... Oh, it goes insane. Oh, wow. A government of knives. They're just going to absorb you later on. They do realize that. No, they don't. Oh. Goodbye, Rock. Oh, what do you want? Offensive theory, soft attack, planning speed, heart attack versus defense and war organization. Oh, That's not even fair. Like, I love soft attack and heart attack. Planning speed's okay. It's not really super important. I mean, it's, it's important in all, but not, like, the most important one. But you get more defense, which is nice on defense, of course. But organization is very, very important, even though you don't get a lot of it. But you get more max planning, which is better than planning speed. And you get more max entrenchment. That's very strong. I love it. I love it so much. Also, how much political power do we get now? 0.58. That is not a lot. We have a fanatical dictatorship. We have legionary infighting. SEMA. And stability is really bad, but... Once we get more stability, we should be okay. As we are training a lot of our soldiers here to be better, 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 better. Oh, we can change the flag. Oh, that's kind of cool. Question of the national flag. The national flag is the regime's greatest symbol with full authority. It's up to us to determine the flag of Romania. Maintain the tricolor. Use the Iron Guard banner. Use the Archangel flag. Combine the symbol with the tricolor. Huh. What we know as the Kingdom of Romania. That didn't do very much, now did it? Well, wait, what? Oh. Huh. Sure, left. Uh, huh. Restructuring the kingdom. During the struggle period, King Mahai's faction stood against the legionary might. However, the position consolidated. The fate of the kingdom is now in our hands. We might actually be able to revive the short-lived national legionary state or choose to maintain the kingdom of Romania. Since this change would largely be symbolic in nature. Maintain the kingdom. Reclaim the National Legionary State. Ooh. Formalize the National Legionary State. Restructure the Kingdom. Uh, 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 maintain the Kingdom. I want that political power, though. I really want that political power. Uh, I'm gonna say... Does this matter too much around here? Mm, diplomacy Tree, of course. Church Supremacy. Not bad. You lose some research speed, but that's okay. And Iron Romania. Oh, wow. That'd be really good to do. Um, you know what? Because we can go this way, we'll do this some other time. Let's get maintain the kingdom. Restructure it. 
I want to do this one, but let's maintain the kingdom for now. I think that'd be good to do. Of course, if you want to read this one again, please go right ahead. And then after this, ooh, you know what? Let's lose the stability for now. So we can get even more stability later. Police Death Squad Cooperation. In the past, the police were at odds with their operations, but now with their official position, it's time for us Romanians to reconcile. For the safety of Romania, the police and the paramilitary death squad should now cooperate with one another. The King Question. King Mahai stood in the way of the Iron Guard's path to greatness. Well, it's been useful at times. Some within our party and government are fed up with his antics. And are calling for his replacement. If our new government wishes to, or were to have a king, we can choose to punish his past actions by crowning Prince Nicholas as King of Romania. You know, this have declared that the monarchy itself is too much of an obstacle to our power, and we should get rid of it in to too entirely. Ooh, I don't know, man. Do we want to get rid of it? Hmm. Hmm. Let him keep his job. Nah, we don't want paternal talk to this campaign. Crown Nicholas. Or do not need a king. As much as I want that one, which would make sense for us. Uh, Nicholas I, maybe? Oh, look at him. He's kind of handsome. For the disgraced and removed by King Carol II, Prince Nicholas of Romania lost his royal status during the controversial period. However, the rise of the new Romania, King Mihai has been dethroned and replaced with the reinstated Nicholas I. Compared to King Mihai I, Nicholas is popularity significantly lower, but serves to be an easy political pawn for the Iron Guard. Long live the king, and he's over here. Oh, he's mediocre. But he get more stability, at least. The new curriculum. Science, foreign languages, and other forms of education are unnecessary. Our people deserve to know it and understand the truth. The truth of Romanian history and the ideology of the Iron Guard, placing heavy attention on the greater Captain Congenu and the Archangel Michael. Through this new curriculum, we're training new generations of devoted fighters that understand nothing but the greatness elements of our regime. Romanian education for Romanians. We get surrendered to the really good. Lots more war support. Civilian and military factory construction cost. Max factory state goes way up, but we lose 25%. 25%. Research speed, which is insane. Oh well. And then we're going to the doing course, the squad cooperations. Losing the stability of legionary uh, senate officialized. We get a lot of political power there, which is actually really nice. We add a gear and economy, which hurts our resource efficiency gain, recruitable population factor, even more resource people, you get more consumer goods, because currently we're on semi industrialized, which is not great for trying to produce more factories. That's a give and take. Uh, monthly population, oh, we get even worse stuff. I do want to get down here. I do want that more political power. We really need more political power and stability, so we got to get that one. We could do the diplomacy tree. Um, I do want uh, Benat as well, but we could do submit to Germany, but. First German succession crisis is averted. The civil war is over. Submit to the Germans. Uh, hmm. Add bend the knee. Well, we'll see. We have legion isolationism, but we not we're not fascist. And then we have revived a little Entente as well, but we can't really do that because we are a uh, national socialist. So it is what it is. And we have all this over here too. Romanian rail system, which looks really good. More infrastructure, meaning petro supremacy, uh, as well as expanding the Palesti oil complex, exports for growth. Reinvesting oil profits versus foraging alternatives, which is not bad. Galati Industrial Zone, rapid industrialization, which looks really quite good, and introduce mechanical farming. So let me know which or should we do. Should we do maintain petrol supremacy versus foraging alternatives? Let me know in the comments below. Expand the uh, uh, this university. Coastal development schemes not bad. Construction boom in 1953. Wow, 35 percent. It's not bad. But I think up next, what we're going to do is uh, political power, maybe. Yeah, I like the political power. Uh, the former legislature is corrupt and a disgrace to all Romanians. So as a result of this issue, the legionary senate shall replace the old, weak system of representation. Police assist pogroms. Since the government's initiative to staff the police with legionnaires, the relationship between police and the paramilitary has grown closer. Since then, pogroms in Romania have enjoyed police assistance, with officers helping the death squads and rounding up undesirables, asking nothing, nothing in return during these operations. Well, it's a good thing we already have no stability. Archangel resolution passed in the Senate. The legionary representatives dressed in traditional clothing constantly chanted the slogan of the Iron Guard during the meeting. Well, the Senate only functions as a supervisory organ to supervisory organ to the government. An extraordinary motion was called. Labeling this act as major and requires the consent of the Hoga Legion. The Archangel resolution was proposed. An act that mimics the Nazis' genocidal plans against the Jews, Romanis, and other undesirables. The chamber applied not with not a single legionnaire showing a hint of doubt, and admits the celebration the fate of hundreds of thousands have been sealed. Dot dot dot. Also, we're doing legionary diplomacy, and we did go to partial mobilization because, well, why not? This might end up in our downfall, but the diplomatic policies of the legionary Romania must be realized before we can achieve absolute superiority over our inferiors and then our roots. Or Romanians' life. 
belongs to the farmlands. Romania's roots are firmly attached to the agriculture society and it is simply human nature to fully stick by their original roots. And now we'll do church supremacy. Roman orthodoxy shall become a nation's sole motivation. All the legionaries' decisions were and will be according to God's will. And now we have 20% stability, which is nice. We're doing Archangel, Archangel's Michael, Michael's will. Archangel Michael is a symbol of the Iron Guard. As the supreme commander of the heavenly hosts, his spiritual presence shall give all remaining the courage to die for the nation. Nice. Give more attack. Modify legacy of Corneliu Zelia Condorno by 30%. And then an Iron Romania. Under the Iron Guard, Romania shall thrive for a thousand years, long live Greater Romania. Or Great Romania, which we are now attacking this area here for... What is this? Oh, look at that. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, actually. Um, ooh, attackers. Oh, that's, that's so much mass nutrition. We need that, though. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Come on, you son of a rock sucker. Take it. Hey, victory with those superior tactics. Our forces have successfully bested the enemies. Hey, look at that. Nice. Uh, I did, like, consolidate a lot of forces to make sure that when they did attack, they'd have maxed out, like, everything. So, that's good. It's we won here, which is also very good. Um, Virgil Popa. Why not? We can have that one, too. Um, go and train as well. But is this? Oh, and Germany has a war. The fat man did win here, so there is that. I'm a little concerned, especially if he tries to attack Slovakia or Slovenia and... Stuff like that. Because if he does that, we're basically going to lose. So, at least with this one. With that Iron Romania, we get 35% more stability, which we absolutely, absolutely need. Um, we get 35% more war spot, which we don't really need. We get 50% more political power, which is not bad. But we currently get 0.75, which is better than before. We get 150 more political power, but we lose uh, the National Daddius and the uh, the F-word, fascist, support. So, here's the world as well. Also, quite, back quite us independence, which is kind of nice to think about, but... Yeah. It is what it is. Once we get two lines of close to being around 15 each, that'll be good. I just hope <sighs> Germany just does not try to kill us, in which they might. I don't know. If we become one of their puppets, they should do okay with us. Do anything about Romania here? Okay, hopefully not. Hopefully not, but it might be a decision that yeah, I can take. Because right now, it's us. And these guys are our puppets, like I said. But then these guys are the puppets of the Hungarians, which could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Oh, we got the Schneider. Yes, please. The Schneider is very good. Also, I didn't address any of the comments from the last video, which include... Uh, I should play as a Cold War Iron Curtain mod. And play as the USSR, which doesn't sound bad at all. I should try that out again sometime. Sounds like a lot of fun. And do the Thousand Week Reich, of course, as a Russian Republic, but go full liberal. Well, we'll see. Actually, for this time, what are they doing? Liberal socialism. Hmm. Okay. And there's this one as well. It's not bad, but unfortunately, I think we're going to have to end this episode here. I believe I did read traditional expansion last time. Did I? Did I not? Oh. Domestic Panzer production. Oh, let's take a look here. Artillery domination. I like that a lot. Ros Rosiorsi Spirit. Oh, that's not bad, but... 50% more cavalry attack. Holy crap. That's a lot. Garrison Division made. 11th Tank Division. Oh. So let me know where we should go. Traditional expansion? Or... Should we go with the experimental tank design as well? Let me know in the comments below. But I do apologize for the shorter video, but if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I was push forward, trying to expand the economy, and just trying to make Romania an even better, better, totally more educated place. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.